the attacking player by PV Sindhu can never stop attacking she will be going on and on and on trying to create the chances and winners and Finetri obviously will try to retrieve as much as possible it can be a close match but I have a feeling that Sindhu possibly have a small advantage here playing home ground and having the crowd to cheer her and help her possibly to win this match As you can see, Pv Sindhu is a tall player, she's a tall athlete and both her parents are former volleyball players and the uh, first time I personally saw her play was in the World Junior Championships in 2010 in Mexico where she got to the quarterfinal. Normally she tra trains in Hyderabad under her idol Bubi Chan who was the uh, All England champion in 2001 as well. I've been uh, around the block a few times, seen a lot of badminton over the years, but when I, I, s I see Venetri play, the first thing that struck my mind is uh, what a typical Indonesian badminton player. The way she moves, the way she plays is so elegant, it's so effortless, and uh, she can play any shot in the book. Whether she can play with enough pressure, that's what matters, and that's what we will see today. Sindhu, lots of pressure, mounting up straight away and a 5-1 lead. Sure she's eager to prove she can win in India home ground, setting up the all Indian final tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. And I'm sure a lot of people are anticipating what kind of match that will turn out to be should it happen. we see here the attack, the ongoing attack from Sindhu and very often she's uh, making use of that straight push down the line going into the net following up on her attack and then follow in and the straight push coming there we see it very often in, the, in her game. Created a good winner, 7-1 up. Time, uh, no, no doubt that Spinetri need time to settle into this match. She is blown over by the pace and power by Sindhu so far. Trailing 8 1, she's got to recover, possibly talk to her coach midway in this uh, first game, see if she can uh, find the recipe on how to break through. Again, a wonderful attack of the net. You don't see that very often in the women's singles. That's a trademark of Sindhu and she's doing it so well. This time she chose to go cross court, across the body to the backhand side and it created once again a winner, 9-1 up. And that's pulled in. And after only four minutes of play, it's 10-1 Pv Sindhu. And she can convert that to a lead 11-1 going into the mid-game interval. Let's see. Finetri really have to find the answers now. She's got to push on. She can't play as passively as she's doing now. She's got to go out, find the answers, add the pressure.
save. The shot was played a bit loose to the net. Got under a lot of pressure for that. Simply not sharp enough at the net there and got punished straight away. better with intensity from Penetri here much better good pace obviously it's important for Sindhu to to win here she wants as I say to prove to her home ground and home crowd that uh, she can win here back in India. But mind you, she won the bronze medal at the World Championship in Guangzhou in 2013 by beating the defending champion at the time, Wang Yihan. And further on, she beat uh, Wang Shushan. And that was incredible wins at the time. So surely she wants to prove to her home crowd here that she can do it here back in India as well. What a defensive shot there. That cross-court drive is a sign of excellence. Really well played, well read. That cross-court, that's devastating. Look at that. The smash coming here, and look. That's good. That's really good. Both players got into the semi-final not having lost the game, and I suspect both of them are fresh, ready to go. But imagine what kind of pace the Sindhu is adding on to this. 15-4 up, and we've only played nine minutes so far. And here we see that favorite shot. There is no doubt that she's feeling very comfortable today, haven't made any mistakes at all, and it's just going full blazing. Being in the shoes of Benetri, I think she's got to try to get longer rallies and see if she can take the edge of Sindhu. When I say the edge, it's the pace of the edge. She's simply playing so much faster and so much more aggressive than her opponent is doing at the moment. So Benetri really have to get the rallies going, keep them long and try to take that physical edge off the top of the game of PV Sindhu. Whether she could do it is another matter. It's just a suggestion from here.
Yeah, adding a lot of pressure on those pushes away from the net. Cross court chasing her opponent on the baseline and creating the uh, mistake at the end. Here it comes. 19-5 in just 11 minutes. today she is confident attacking every single shot reaching it as quickly as possible playing the fastest possible shot it's excellent really really good to watch to beat her you have to absorb that pace and a rare mistake in this set What a display from PB Sindhu. And a good and a good start for Fenetri here, getting the first point in the second game. Let's see if she can if some changes has been made to um, the whole game plan, the strategic game plan, see if she can cope and keep up with the pressure. It's going wide, yes. Let's see if we can do reverse at the first set. I doubt it. I must say, I really doubt it. But three points all gone to Indonesia for Netri. 3 nil up, 3 love up. And uh, based on a few unforced errors by Sindhu. In the picture we just saw, Saravenda from Indonesia, the coach, used to be a former world class player herself. I actually think she won the uh, bronze medal at the World Championships uh, sometimes in the early 90s. That's the way to go. I think we're in, we're in for a fierce second game here. And I think some in the public is uh, using flashlight and the uh, umpires just uh, making a note and asking people not to do it. It's very distracting for the players. see opening with a much harder smash couldn't get through but Phoebe Sindhu got through on the her opportunity and now the score is 2-4 
pace has really picked up oh what a shot that would have been that would have been a winner but the pace has definitely picked up good to see Finetri is rising to the occasion and the pressure here but she was lucky on that one it could have gone could have been a winner straight away but uh, just got caught at the top of the tape 5-2 I don't know if there's a difference in ends, uh, but it shouldn't be much, it's actually a lovely stadium here. Good light, hardly any drift, and uh, a fantastic atmosphere. The, uh, the crowd is here really enjoying themselves, and obviously delighted to see that uh, India has got a uh, sign-off through for the uh, final for tomorrow. Stabilised the game, it's trailing by three points, but can easily make up for it a little bit later. Burns in this a funny old game one time you can have all the confidence to play your shots and you can almost play them close the eyes and they will do whatever you want them to do two minutes later they're not going the way you want it and you're losing confidence and suddenly what used to be so simple just two minutes ago is suddenly so difficult Those attacking clears now for Netri. game was the finesse would really have to take the edge off the pace of PV Sindhu and I actually think that's what she's doing at the moment and that's what she's succeeding at and that's also what's created uh, part of her lead here in the second game This is uh, an area where Sindhu has to work on. See, she still hasn't hasn't got the the leg strength to really push and go for that one. So obviously, being only 18 years of age and uh, still have many years in front of you, there's lots and lots of things to work on.
certainly is uh, an 11-5 lead for Finetri from Indonesia and maybe the match is taking a turn here. Benetri is playing off, oh, she's played it out, but look at the pace, how she's moving her feet. There's a lot, lot more urgency into this than in the first game. shot it could either be this drop shot slice drop shot as we saw here it could be uh, the half smash or the full smash but all three of them coming from that angle she loves to play that shot the right thing followed up so well and missed it then Gubachan is saying just take it easy just take it easy things like this happens she did all the right thing good attack there followed up and had an enormous opportunity go 8 11 rather than 12 7 Crumbling a bit to the pressure, finding it very difficult to, to cope with it at the moment, and making unforced errors. Doesn't play with the same kind of confidence as she did in the first game. All credits, all credits to a player like Penetri, really have picked up, changed her game, seen the urgency, playing it, and I think it's wonderful to see how she's stepping up in this match. too little too late in this game but uh, there is obviously always the deciding game where the star level play and everything is possible
great support from the crowd. Cheering the athlete on. It's a tall order to catch up. 17-9 down. Possibly have to um, save a little bit of energy. Or if you want to go all out, try to get back on track, uh, get the mistakes out of the system and settle in on court and be ready for the third game. What a poor serve there. Not only too wide, too short. Having to focus more, that was a poor effort. Cross-court shot, as we saw it in the uh, replay. <laughs> Look at that, we never saw that in the first game and suddenly it's all changed. Hardly any smashes from uh, the net tree and now we see her smashing on a regular basis. to get the shots to work again keep them in don't make the mistakes can be important for the start of the third game which I personally invest, think we will get long rally who oh, it benefited the most only the future can tell reduce the deficit to seven points no doubt the two girls are breathing heavily it's a long long rally and as I said before, who the benefited the most, only time will tell. <laughs> See, that's one of the problems when a shot, even if it's a good one, comes too often. I, I haven't seen it go down for quite a while, and Finetri is covering it every single time, and it's sending Sindhu on a long, long, long run every single time she's got to run that diagonal. asking 21 12 have some long rallies from now on then the physical aspect comes into it who is the strongest
my point of view that shot cross court shot came again the mistake came well what I would like to see that attacking clear down the line once more would have made a world of difference very short very sharp good shot very good shot coach is happy off to a good start to love lead but look at that that is so short landing before the first line and that's a difficult shot to make it so short and still play with pace by the linesman recovery shot good length impossible to attack it from there some of the uh, play from the first game two devastating smashes and the second one a winner so Cindy is cheering herself on come on come on you can do it I'm sure that's what's going through her mind shot on that cross court net shot coming and instead of lifting it she could have played that net shot and surely she would have a great chance of winning it but she chose to lift it getting into trouble eventually losing it to hear next to me some of the Indonesian players they were shouting Tahan which means that you know come on you can do it keep fighting so they are also cheering on their player been looking for on a few occasions and that's 
going long. Yes. But what a funny match this is. Penetri four love up. And suddenly it was four. Now she's five four rock. Does she go up to eight four, nine four? Players are getting uh, rows of uh, points, which is quite unusual in today's family. tight just as what we saw from Netri do five minutes earlier very steep very short landing before the first line again excellent shot have to get the court not perspiration and a slightly concerned man never showing any emotions when he's sitting behind the court but somehow I sense he's a little bit worried here. Players taking their time according to the rule. Book it should be continuous play. The umpires uh, allowing quite a long break here. was Fenetri believing I had the physical ability to outlast my opponent I would pick that shuffle lock do the lock rallies she would add on some more physical pressure but also mental pressure because obviously Sindhu is having the option of composing herself getting ready for the next rally rather than being pushed and forced into making quicker decisions that's pressure that's good play excellent play well pushed attacking that net pushing flat to the deep corners Vice two to the backhand corner. That's the first one, second one, and the cross court third one.
imagine if this match continues like this, one point each all the time. We could get to 29 all before the deciding rally is to be played. Sudden death to 29, 29 all. It wasn't enough. Beautiful net shot played by Sindhu. Kind of finished the rally. That was very tight. But once again, I have to go back to what I said earlier. Finetri have to look to play the net a little bit more. She's lifting quite a lot, which means that obviously Sindhu will have a lot of opportunities for attack. Another good reflection. And it's out. That is desperation in a way. She wants to get it away. She wants to finish it. And going too wide. Seven all, it's been eight all, nine all, now ten all. Excellent shot, really, really good. Strong attack finishing it by the power smash but the slice reverse shot When we look at this match, Finetri should win. She's standing on the good side, so to speak. All the games has been won on that side. opponent and so far it's paid off but she's got to be careful not to be too passive after all because there's the big smash on the other side <laughs> yeah, here we 
have uh, one of the common problems in badminton. Players are so happy when they think or see the shuffle out. They're screaming, celebrating, and the linesman has not yet made his or her decision. And according to the rules, you are not allowed to influence the line judges. So a three-point run came to a, a halt. PVC is back to 12-13. signal when he can't see it and then it's for the umpire to call it and it's been called in from where I'm sitting I must say I actually thought he was going wide but um, we will possibly never ever really get I'm sure it's out but uh, it's call in point for Sindhu 14-13 That's possibly the kind of luck you need sometimes to take you through the matches. And having trailed 13-11, Sindhu is now up 15-13. Having won the last four. And that's going well. It's good backhand, straight push as seen before. Good length in that lift. And the body smash. Touched Sindhu on the way out. So point for Finetri. Chances were that it was actually going out, but she couldn't move away and got hit by the shot. So this match is far from over yet. Let's see what's in store for us. Stop. Hard to see. From the angle where we sit and the camera angle, impossible to judge. So once again, back to all square. 15 minutes. Look at that. Picture. The funny thing is that you out there who play the game, you know how much easier it is to serve a high serve from even numbers than it is from that side, the uneven numbers. It's unbelievable how big a difference it is, but when you work at this every day, obviously it must not go wrong. break, toweling down, focusing, composing themselves, getting a drink, and we are at 16. Who has got the nerves, the mental strength, the ability again to play the proper shot, the shot selection, crucial at this point in the match.
good follow up good choice to attack the centre of the court knowing should it come back as what it did here this is the kind of reply and I will be able to finish the next one great experience and here is a very important point for a team play from her favorite angle and once again it proved to be the shot to play you can see in Finesse's face that she's not happy she's been covering that all the time and suddenly she missed it good shot on the line I must say I'm slightly speechless, but uh, maybe I'm not quick enough. Good disguise shot here from Finetri. Having a mountain to climb now. 17, 19 down. really hard had some luck at the end here and is now having to convert one of the three match points to a win and chances are it's coming here on the first one setting up the victory 21 17 in the final and deciding game against Penetri from Indonesia, the defending champion of this tournament. What a match we've been uh, witnessing here. The crowd is on their feet. They do enjoy it.